Welcome all of you to this session on HSWE GK2. Today's session is all about the Indian constitution, especially the history, specifically the history of making of Indian constitution. But before I start, in case you are planning on HSWE 2023, this is here is some important information for you. If you want strategy related input for your preparation, please subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. If you're looking for inputs related to content, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. Uh, our batches for HSWE 2023 are starting on 11th and 25th of July 2022. Uh, for more details, you can inquire on these numbers 93439 21347. Just WhatsApp us. Another number is 95222 92468. When you WhatsApp, you will get some response on, you know, how, how to go about it. Just for your information, our course will include live doubt classes every week. There will be recorded videos for every topic that is being covered. You have ebooks, you have mock tests, you have 200 topic wise tests, more than 30 section tests, and you have several sessions on general studies and GK. We will provide you with everything, all the material that you need. You don't have to look anywhere else for your HSWE preparation. It's a one-stop comprehensive HSWE preparation at the best possible value for you. So here comes the first question. Which of the following best describes the constitution of our country? Now, if you look at the four options, it is a set of all rules and regulations. First option. Option B, it is a set of laws. Third option, it is a set of fundamental principles. And fourth option, it is a set of fundamental legal principles. Now, obviously, constitution is not a set of laws. It is not all rules and regulations. So, I can immediately eliminate A, B and D and mark C as our answer. But what are the functions of a constitution? If constitution is a set of fundamental principles according to which uh, a government, a state is governed, there must be some fundamental uh, functions of a constitution. So obviously the first function is to provide a set of basic rules that will aid a government in governing the state. Another function of the constitution is to specify who has the power to make decisions. It specifies who can make decisions. The third function is to set some limits, you know, it sets some limits, you know, you cannot give anybody uncontrolled power to make decisions. So if somebody has power to make decisions, that somebody also must have some limits to the kind of decisions it can make. So it, the government cannot impose on citizens anything that it wants to. So there are some limits. So this is the third function, limiting the decision making power in some way. And another um, function of a constitution is to enable the government to fulfill aspirations of the society. Fulfill aspirations of society. So society needs conditions where there will be no lawlessness. You know, it, everything will be smooth, fair and just. So the constitution will enable the government to do all of this. So... The correct answer is a constitution is a set of fundamental principles according to which a state is governed. Next, which of the following statements about the Indian constitution are true? Constitution is only a set of rules and regulations. So it is not. I have just now told you four functions. It is not just a set of rules and regulations. Constitution confers on the government power to pursue collective good. This looks like okay. The Constitution of India is an original document. No, it is not an original document. 
and it is not based on our history or thousands of years of civilization it is based on several different constitution including the british the us the canadian russian irish japanese so so many different constitutions we have borrowed from and created a document a comprehensive document it might not be an original document but it is surely a comprehensive document indian constitution has been completely it's not been completely adapted from the written british constitution next question which of the following is true about the formation of constituent assembly now what is constituent assembly Con constituent assembly is the group of people who were responsible for first of all drafting of the constitution and finally verifying all the provisions of constitution and coming up with a comprehensive document so that was your constituent assembly so constituent assembly was set up as per the directives laid under the cabinet mission plan and first of all this assembly was there for undivided india right so the first sitting of the constituent assembly was on 9th december 1946 and this was for undivided india but after partition the constituent assembly reassembled as constituent assembly for divided india and that happened on 14th august 1947 so if you look at the four options the constituent assembly was first elected for undivided india this is correct the constituent assembly had its first sitting in 1947 no it had it on 9th of december 1946 so option b is wrong constituent assembly was created according to the set of fundamental rules mentioned in the government of india act in 1935 no it was set according to the provisions mentioned in cabinet mission plan the members of constituent assembly were elected by universal suffrage no they were not elected by universal suffrage but as per the provisions given in cabinet mission plan next question our constitution did not borrow from which of the following constitution obviously i told you before that our constitution is not a comprehensive or a origin original document it is a comprehensive document but not an original document and it borrowed from several different constitution from us from british from canadian from ireland from japan from russia so from all these constitutions written or spoken or written or not written it borrowed something or the other in fact most of our constitution did borrow from the british constitution but many provisions also came from us canada irish japanese russian and some of the other constitutions so the correct answer here is the spanish constitution we did not borrow anything from the spanish constitution which of the following in our constitution was borrowed from the french constitution the correct answer is principle of liberty equality and fraternity fraternity is brotherhood we borrowed these from the french constitution the charter of fundamental rights we borrowed from the us constitution incidentally the us constitution also uh, you know gave us the power of judicial review it gave us the principle of independence of judiciary independence of judiciary and the power of judicial review both of them came from the us constitution directive principles of state policy came to us from the irish constitution fundamental duties came to our constitution from i think the russian constitution next the idea of rule of law came into indian constitution from so the correct answer here is the british constitution uh, what are the some some of the other important things or provisions that came into force or that were adopted from the british constitution the parliamentary form of governance 
parliamentary form of governance then the process of law making this was also adopted from the british constitution then the institution of speaker and his role was also adapted from the indian sorry the british constitution next question the principle of independence of judiciary came into indian constitution from which of the following the independence of judiciary it came into uh, you know it was adopted from the american constitution which i had already told you next the members of constituent assembly ratified the constitution on which of the following dates now they ratified the constitution on 26th november 1949 so what happened was as a consequence of partition uh under the plan of 3rd june 1947 so members who were elected from territories which fell under pakistan you know, earlier on the constituent constituent assembly was for both the undivided india that is india and pakistan but after partition the number of members in the assembly it came down from 299 members uh, came down to 299 members and out of which around 284 members they ratified the constitution they finally signed the document and this was done on 26 november 1949 next the word promulgation refers to it's an official declaration of a law coming into force that's what promulgation implies so with this we come to an end of today's session in case you have questions or queries feel free to get in touch with us on 93439 Two one three four seven. Thank you.